Hey everybody, this is BDC. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm doing yet another build preview. This is one of mine. Uh, this is called the Stone Crusher for Imperion Galactic Survival. And the idea behind this, uh, it was inspired by a mod from Space Engineers. And um, there was a mod in there called the Stone Crusher, and it was, if I recall correctly, it's been a while since I've looked at it, but I want to say it was the size of either an assembler or a refinery. And the idea was is that you keep a lot of that loose stone that you get from your drillers uh, from doing or vein uh, drilling and you'd throw it into the stone crusher and it would spit out trace amounts of uh, things like your iron or platinum or whatever so um, this was kind of inspired by it um, this is a, a small cord BA it's got a very small footprint um, it's in the same theme as these other ones that I've got built here the uh, survival starter node plant nursery constructor and refining nodes um, and uh, runs entirely off solar it's, uh, it can virtually run forever um, basically so uh, the way this uh, stone crusher works is it uses two um, small constructors and basically you feed it all the stone dust you get either from drilling stone pits or from any other uh, mining that you do subterranean or even asteroid stuff and you throw it into the uh, to the container controller this is a um, setup for for uh, Alpha 9's weights and uh, volumes, or weights and frustrations, as I like to call it, um, with 177,500 cargo and a uh, cargo volume, and I have no idea what that means in terms of the numbers of uh, of um, stone dust, uh, crushed stone stacks, or whatever. It's gobs and gobs. It's like tens of thousands or something. Maybe maybe way more than that. Um, but anywho, um, you just use these uh, these two um, small constructors to crunch it down, and then you can store all that extra stone dust here. So. Uh, that's the idea behind it, um, is to have a separate uh, place to keep all of your crushed stones that uh, can be used in other blueprints, um, especially things that require um, like larger bases or defensive structures or things that use a lot of armored concrete. They use a, a whole lot of stone dust. So this is just one way of doing it. Um, this is a, a separate thing on its own power, uh, power footprint. You don't have to um, go through and use the uh, basis constructors and take up all the cargo space in there and take up the constructor time and all that kind of thing. You can just do it all in one place and you can store it all here. So let's see, as far as power stuff goes, um, it's got four solar batteries in it. Um, solar output, I think it's probably going to be above 500, but I don't know for certain here. Let me, uh, let me take a look here. Um, Okay, maybe it's going to be a little bit under 500, but uh, consumption, idle consumption is really low on this. Uh, consumption will go up to one megawatt, um, or what is it, one kilopower unit now is what it's labeled as in here. <clears throat> Excuse me, when both small constructors are running, uh, but they don't run for very long. They can crunch it down fairly quickly. Uh, unlock levels level seven, and takes 16 minutes in Blueprint Hopper to build. 400 stone dust, um, under 100 of the uh, tier 1 stuff, 80 copper, 80, 2 silicone, 94 iron, 17 carbon substrates, really, really cheap to build, and um, it is partly subterranean. So, like all these other builds that I do down here, um, it has a, uh, a, uh, a concrete sarcophagus, basically, as I call it, for the core block and fuel tanks and other essentials that are down there. Uh, let's see, there's probably not much else to talk about it, um, about on this. 4,800 fuel capacity, um, pretty cheap to build. So there you go. That's the Stone Crusher BA. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please hit those uh, like and sub buttons down below and uh, leave any comments or questions that you have on the video. Appreciate you watching. Thank you.